Welcome back guys, VST here, Valence Tech. Quick video today on something that is, I would say, old news. Why old and why news? Because Galaxy Enhance X is now released for the S23 series. And by the way, this is the news. And why old? Because we already had this on the S21 and then S22. I even covered this in one of my videos, so if I'm able to find it, you can check it here, guys. Um, but before we start with what Galaxy Enhance X is and then before showcasing its capabilities, I want to show you something. Yeah, this is really stunning. This thing has a very low rating, guys, okay? It has low rating F2.0 and there are some people already using it on Galaxy S23 Ultra and they're saying that it really doesn't do much compared to what other apps are doing. They really want to see some things like true AI upscale and hence, and this tool supposedly should be able to upscale low pixelated pictures or let's say low quality, low DPI pictures, low resolution pictures, and apparently it's not doing a great job and etc and etc guys so without any further ado i will start it but before we do so just let's glance through the description the galaxy enhance x app is a one-stop ai solution for all media enhancements which is actually quite nice but think of this we have already so many things we have the standard camera we have the expert role that was kind of merged into the camera menu but it's still the separate app we then have the pro mode guys we then have also the camera assistant and now on top of these guys we have also galaxy enhance x and we have the new cutout function and the new magic erase which are part of the stock um editing and stock gallery so you see where i'm going with this there's so many things uh, for photo taking photo editing and samsung really that's a good job but what is really not a good job is that they're really scattered throughout many applications some being things like the camera assistant which is essentially a good lock module but also integrated into the stock camera menu and it's really not perfect i do believe that this needs an overhaul right it needs to be overhauled and simplified but okay so let's just see guys pretty single tap your image is analyzed for imperfections enhanced and refined to a higher quality ai based techniques can be invoked to repair so you can repair you can enhance your images you can remove unwanted blur reflections. This is pretty much things that you can also do with the stock image editor and etc. But okay, guys, let me just open this one. I want to give you a glance on how this looks like. And by the way, it says already beta, which is a bit weird. Try a variety of AI tools. Remove blur. See colors in HDR. Then also erase shadows. And that's pretty much it, guys. When you press down, you need to enable certain permissions. Then you can go back to the app. And now you need to select a picture to be edited. So let me just try to choose something, guys. Let me just try to choose this one. There's a famous one that I did. And let me just see what we are able to do with this. So apparently we have the HDR. So let's just click HDR and see what is going to happen. The before and after slider is actually quite nice because you can just see what happens. And I'm going to put it in the center, guys. So this is the before result. This is going to be the after result. So, okay, when I try to apply different levels of HDR. Now, this is potentially not the best example. So let me just open something that is more prone to HDR editing. So let's try with that one. This is a night photo that I shot. So I'm going to click here on HDR. The AI will kick in, guys. We can just see the before and the after result. Something also important, guys, you can potentially do all these kind of edits with a tool called Snapseed, but all right, this is really something from Galaxy themselves, from Samsung themselves. So, okay, let's just test also the Brighton function. So it's pretty much the same idea. You have this little before and after comparison, and then you can go crazy and apply the values. Then we have fixed blur. We don't really have a lot of blur in that picture, so I'm still going to try to run it yeah okay you can then apply just you get an option to apply uh, the edit or not in this case i don't want to apply it guys then you have sharpen which is something nice where let's say the image is too soft and you're not happy with the result maybe you can use this filter to apply more sharpen so I, i'm just eager to see okay you know what i'm gonna go now for sharpen let's just go for sharpen guys and then we have more tools and these more tools are interesting because you can fix more you can remove the fractions you can also remove shadows things like distortion portrait face so there are plenty of things that you can do. I've added this jar here where I have some text, guys, and I'm gonna press this button. This button will apply the magic, okay? And once the magic is applied, I just want to see if there are any noticeable differences. So I'm just moving around 
back and forth, before and after, and I don't really see it. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna click the apply magic and just see what the tool is gonna do on a human with a face. So honestly, not really a lot of changes. Now let's just click on the HDR and probably see if HDR editing will do something now. Okay, yeah. I like it, it's a bit lighter, so okay, I'm gonna go for this HDR edit, guys. And also, I want to see what can happen when I click the portrait. So I have already a human with a human face. Okay, so let me just see, that's a photo, by the way, taken with the Galaxy. And of course, you get here, oh, you get the standard stuff, by the way, this is not bad, yeah, okay. So imagining it is really um, absolutely possible from the stock edit, I guess, when you apply all the portrait lenses. But in case you want to change some of your pictures, uh, you know what? This is I'm gonna keep this is good, really, guys, because it's gonna keep the background a bit like this. So yeah, this is a nice edit. We didn't also have guys some things for the face, probably. A bit more for my taste, but you can smooth the skin, you can tone it down, you can make the people to appear slimmer, and all this stuff that I would not say that they are quite fancy, but I get uh, the point why some people are using those ones. And eventually, guys, there's gonna be also the option for you to upscale the picture. I don't really have pictures with bad quality, and I'm not even gonna test it because I know it's already bad. So this is what you can do with this new Galaxy Enhance X tool, guys. If you wanna go try this free, yeah, don't bring your hopes quite high, but I'm here to report, happy to report. Stay safe, guys. VST, over and bye.